the usual Nutcracker movable jaw is inside a square mortise and gets covered by a beard or a piece of fabric, with the latter being kind of a cheesy way of hiding it. If we look at it in cross-section, it would look something like this. Now if we change it so that the front of the lever is an arc centered on the pivot point, then there won't be any open space underneath. A side effect is that the jaw gets moved up into the Nutcracker's head, where it actually belongs. Rather than turn a solid body and remove material from the mechanism afterwards, I am building the body in three layers. I can easily create the opening at the front and the slot in the back in the middle layer before gluing them together. It's easier to make all the Nutcracker bodies the same size and then add extra material where I need it for the ballerina's dress and Santa's belly. And while the dress is going to end up being round, I want to point out that I decided to make all my Nutcracker bodies not be completely round because people aren't completely round and I want a more realistic look. So once I have the dress round and I move on to the body, I'm only going so far as to bring the sides into round. There's still going to be a flat spot on the front and the back. Then I define the neck. The hard part is that I'm trying to have that end up right at the top of the arc on the lever. But I don't have the lever installed, so I can't see exactly where that is supposed to be. With the neck established, the head does get brought into round. And it's a question of how much material do you want to leave in the neck so that it's not overly fragile. These are decorative, so I'm not worried about it being strong enough to not pop the head off, cracking nuts. Once I'm happy with the shape, I use a rasp to ease the transitions from the round sides to the flat front, and from the dress to the body. Then I use the indexing function of the lathe to make regularly spaced notches, and hand carve a line from each notch, and then one in between the notches. Finally, I drag the rasp across the dress to give it some texture. I want the ballerina's arms to be bent. You could make them out of two pieces, but with just a slight angle, you can make it in one piece by using two sets of centers. To save time cutting mostly air at the lathe, I remove some of the waste of the bandsaw. It's a little intimidating with all different parts whizzing around, but you just have to ignore that and do one half of it, and then you switch to the other set of centers and do the other half.
For the legs or a straight pair of arms, it's easier to turn them together on one longer blank, so you can see both of them at the same time. Though I should have had the feet coming together in the middle, so it would have been easier to get them to be the same. The legs and arms are attached with quarter-inch dowels. For the ballerina, I also made a shallow counterbore since the legs wouldn't have fit tightly against the curved underside of the dress. We'll close things out with a slideshow of the finished Nutcrackers. It became a time crunch getting these done on time, so the camera got put away for all the finishing details. Painting is not my strong suit, but I'm pretty happy with how they turn out. I didn't have the nerve to try to paint faces. Uh, I know my limits, so we're going for a minimalist look there. Thank you to everyone for your support over this past year, and hopefully on to bigger and better things for 2017.